Hello everyone, my name is Bo Alexander and I'm so glad that you're here. As some of you may have seen in my post earlier this week, here on YouTube and over on Instagram, I just celebrated my 28th birthday. And what better way to kick off a birthday week than with a trip to our favorite stores? You guessed it, we're doing the rounds. We're going to not one, not two, but three home sense and home goods locations to search for pieces that will complement and elevate your home decor in a style that is uniquely your own. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe down below, comment, and let me know if you enjoy these informative shop with me style videos. And give me a big thumbs up so that I know to do more videos like this in the future. Also, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Botox now for more day-to-day -day posts and inspiration. And without further ado, let's get to shopping. What better way to kick off my birthday than with a quick morning stroll through HomeSense? If you haven't noticed already, my affinity for HomeSense and home goods runs deep. It verges on problematic at times, but I couldn't think of a better place to start the day. They did have quite a selection of white home decor accents, but the piece that really stood out to me was this large ceramic vase. This bulbous, pure white vase is part of the Shop the World collection and was handcrafted by local artisans in Portugal. Here, it was being sold for $29, but I've seen very similar styles in this minimalistic gourd shape for $39 and up from retailers like West Elm. One area I do like to frequent here is the glass and crystal section. My apartment is decorated in my own rendition of a Parisian Art Deco style, and I like to incorporate artistic sculptural crystal objects throughout. The style and cut of this fluted Rogoska crystal bowl echoed vintage Art Deco detail with its rib design and wavy edge. It was also a steal at $49. This glass U or macaroni shaped base too is a beautiful and unique element to embellish a home with minimalistic flair. It is both a conversation piece and a work of art in its unexpected and avant-garde silhouette. I saw this Nicole Miller home Capiz Shell Pendant Shade for $69, which reminded me of the Restoration Hardware Pendant we saw in my video last week. This piece, however, was much smaller in scale. They had this elaborate, antique-styled stainless steel finial on display that was definitely sized to make an eye-catching focal point on a console table or mantelpiece. One of my home sense and home goods tips is to always buy a piece you like when you see it, because the chances of it being there when you return are slim to none. I skipped out on a similarly styled marble mortar and pestle on my last trip and regretted not making the purchase. This style was less expensive than the last at $7.99, but also much smaller and more sleek in design. It did give me the same satisfaction, however, as my intent is merely to use it as kitchen decor. I don't know about you, but I am an avid velvet hanger enthusiast. They prevent unwanted creases and wrinkles in clothing. They are extremely lightweight, space-saving, non-slip to keep clothing from falling, and offer a clean and minimalistic look. The closet is one of the most overlooked areas in a home, but aesthetically pleasing clothing storage is appreciated. Both Home Sense and Home Goods offer a wide array of varying colors and metal finishes, most in packs of 25 to 30 for around $12.99 each. Unless you have a Costco membership and can buy them in bulk, I strongly suggest you make the purchase here. An area I feel that's often overlooked is the mirror selection here at HomeSense and HomeGoods. These decorative beveled mirrors by the brand portfolio are only $79 each and would look fantastic flanking a bed. This echoes the restoration hardware bedroom aesthetic, adds a sense of vertical symmetry, and draws the eye upward. Not to mention, light reflection from the mirrored surface, which is just an added bonus. If you've ever been to an Our House location, you've seen similarly styled wooden chandeliers hanging in vignette displays while navigating the store. This style here was $199 and a total dupe of the Vans wood chandelier, which retails at Our House for $1,339. These pieces were crafted from rustic, natural finished wood that evokes a weathered, reclaimed look, perfect for illuminating a space in a modern farmhouse style. 
As I've mentioned before, we are so lucky in my area to have a home goods location just a few feet away from HomeSense. This graphite leather lounge chair had graceful lines and a modern styling with its streamlined frame and supple leather seat. I have seen a similarly styled piece by the brand Modlot sell for nearly $1,700 online. This chair would offer the same elegant design and comfort for an affordable price point. I'm unsure of how the TGX brand of stores acquires these hand-painted Park Lane Gallery art pieces. I've seen others in times past highlight the Sarah Brooks paintings, but at this location, I noticed these two colorful works of art by the artists Guyon and Eveline for $99 each. This is an incredible price to pay for a hand-painted work of art, especially as they come professionally framed and ready to hang. This wall art piece was encased in a clear acrylic boxed frame and was selling for $1,299. A monochromatic watercolor design like this is an absolute DIYable project and could be created for a fraction of that price. There was no signage to indicate who the artist of this print was, but I've seen similarly styled, smaller scale pieces in a watercolor labyrinth pattern on Pottery Barn sell for around $579 each. I've seen quite a few of these abstract, cycladic-styled face bases over the past few months here at Home Goods. This piece in particular was reminiscent of the Howard Elliott ceramic bases, which sell for $100 online on Bellacore. I've seen both of the larger and smaller sizes in person, and there is a notable juxtaposition between the finished glaze portion and the rough textured surface of the vase itself. I've been on the hunt for a decorative vase to replace the one that I dropped a few weeks back and this piece caught my attention. The textured lines and the cream colored porcelain on this gracefully tall vase would add a sculptural impact when paired with the others that I've acquired. This vase was selling for $24, less than half the price of similar styles I've seen sold at Crate and Barrel for upwards of $70 each. On to yet another home goods location, the third and final in today's rounds. This industrial styled iron crank desk was a looker at $349. Similarly styled pieces from our house will run upwards of $3,000. This piece is versatile and could easily be used in a home office or even as a dining room table. The glass top allows for 360 degree views of the movable cranks and gears, adding a great deal of visual interest and character to this bold profile. As I'm sure you know, Ray Den is a line of pottery that has become extremely popular in the mainstream. Most either like or dislike the simple home accessories, and though it may not be my personal style, I can appreciate those who incorporate these pieces beautifully into their decor. Yvonne Bray of Vonnie's Home Decor on Instagram is a prime example who makes a tasteful statement utilizing these handmade pieces. The same could be said of these Carthage pierced ceramic ginger jars. I have been seeing these everywhere, and though they may not be a piece I've purchased, I can admire them for their versatility. They can be styled in countless ways and are a fanciful, chinoiserie decorative accent. The Chesterfield style sofa is enjoying a major comeback. I own one myself and love the fresh and elegant sense of solidity and tradition it brings to a contemporary or modern space. I was surprised to see this style here at Home Goods and for such a reasonable price at $999. Similar upholstered styles will run upwards of $3,299 at Pottery Barn. Distinctive details like the deep button down tufts and rolled arms add an air of sophistication that will withstand the test of time. This console table was a dupe of the Clint reclaimed wood console table from Pottery Barn. At Home Goods, the style was selling for $150, nearly one seventh of its $1,100 price tag elsewhere. This handcrafted console was made in Mexico and has an antique finish that allows for a seamless blend with other decor. I'm always surprised by what you can find at Home Goods, like this autographed Muhammad Ali memorabilia, for instance. This is not an item I would expect to find at a store like this, but I had to showcase it because it reveals the diverse selection of pieces they offer. At $59, this drink table is a steal. It provides just enough room for a glass or two and evokes a modern retro appeal. Similar style tables at Crate and Barrel will run at least $100 more.
In comparison to West Coast locations I've seen other YouTubers shop recently, our stores here on the East Coast are still lagging behind just a bit. That being said, I'd call this a micro haul because it never seems to fail that when you're ready and prepared to go for broke, that the stores just aren't as packed to the brim as I'd hoped. As you saw in the video, I did decide to pick up this marble mortar and pestle. This is a piece that I passed on a few weeks back and I honestly wish that I hadn't because this size is just a tad bit smaller and a little less bulbous than the other version that I happened to see. I'm big into marble decor accents especially in the kitchen because I feel that they're extremely versatile and can easily transcend various decor styles. I think marble as a material overall is extremely timeless and classic. This piece is actually functional and would be great to use when pulverizing and grinding different herbs and spices. I absolutely love the natural veining and the different variation in color throughout. This piece is actually pretty substantial for being so small and was handcrafted by local artisans in India. One thing to note about marble, should you be so inclined to purchase pieces like this for your home, is that it's an extremely porous material and any food, drink, or oils that are acidic can harm or damage the surface. It's also a good idea to hand wash these pieces because they are made of such a delicate stone. The next piece that I picked up was this oversized decorative ceramic vase. If you follow my channel, I did do a previous shop with me where I purchased a glazed ceramic vase that I actually broke on my way home outside of HomeSense. That is the first and only purchase that I've ever made that didn't make it home in one piece. I am still grieving that loss just a bit because that happened to be just a random piece that I saw when I was in line waiting to pay. But I did love the silhouette of this ribbed vase. It's actually finished in a matte cream and has various shades of browns and blacks speckled throughout to add some visual interest and texture. I did only pay $24.99 for this piece, which for a vase of this size is relatively inexpensive. I think it's striking, it's elegant, and will fit right in amidst all of the other vases that I have in my collection. So that is it for today, you guys. I want to say a huge thank you to all of you who sent me a beautiful birthday wish and blessing. The best part about putting myself out here on YouTube has been getting to know each and every one of you through the comments down below and in messages over on Instagram. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell notification so that you can be notified first for upcoming posts and videos. Until next time, bye!